Hey guys! So today I am going to finally do some ALF reviews. Yay! Since people have been waiting for that, I think. I think. Since I put that video up when I got the ALF products. And it's been quite a while actually since I've done that. Like since I put those ALF videos up. So yeah. And by the way, I'm just wearing this really cute panda hat. Because my hair is messed up underneath here, that's why so. Why not? So, firstly, I think I will start on the um, the blush, the Elf Studio blush, and it's in Candid Coral. Now, I'll do a quick sw swatch on my hand if you want. That's what it looks like. Okay. I don't know if you can even see that. You pretty much probably can't because it actually doesn't come up very bright. Not to say that I don't like this. Now, it does not come up as, on your cheeks as pinky-ish as that. So if you're looking for a blush that has a lot of pigmentation, I don't know about the other colours in this range, but this colour probably won't do it. I like it though because it gives a nice little flush of like, it doesn't like shimmer, but like, glows it glows okay so it's not like glittery and shimmery but it glows really nicely so i like it because of that reason but i would have preferred it to be a bit more pinkier so like right now i'm just using the sleek brush sleek brush sleek blush because i like the way the pigmentation of that is so which you'll read in a blog post once it's up but um but this I was using quite a lot because I just like the like natural like glow it kind of gave to my skin and stuff. So it is nice in that sense. But like I probably wouldn't buy this again. Or if I did, I probably would buy a deeper color. I just decided to go for a pinkier color because I usually go for quite deep colored blushes, like plummy kind of colors, because I just know what that's what suits me best. But I thought I'd go for something a bit different this time, and I did go for something different, and it didn't turn out as well as I thought it would. So probably I'll go for a darker shade next time if I were to buy this brush again. Um, I don't know how it would work on different skin tones, but like, probably on a lighter skin tone it might work better, I don't know, but for me personally, I do like it, but I probably wouldn't buy it again, just because the pigmentation was uh, as great as I thought it would be kind of thing. So, yeah, it's, it is a thumbs up kind of thing in a way, but like, it's not like a double thumbs up, it's one thumbs up, because it came out nice, like I say, but it's not what I expected it to be, so it's not really the best. Um, so yeah, that's that. And then the next thing is that I'm doing two in one kind of thing, so because I'm not going too in depth because there isn't much I could really say about these things, really. Um, so this next is the Elf Warm Bronzer, which is that. Now I'll probably swatch each color for you. And again, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, probably just because the lighting's really bad, or I don't know if it's actually the blush, the bronzer itself, or it's just the lighting. Okay. That is that. I don't know if you can even see that. Obviously, at two of the colours. Um, I mean, like I said, the pigment. I thought pigmentation would be very good in Elf products because people seem, seem to love Elf products, which is why I bought them in the first place. So I was really excited. Everyone's going on about how really good they really are. Actually, for the price, they're pretty good and stuff. I mean, like I said, if you if you swirl all the colours together, which is what I do, and then apply it to like your cheekbones and stuff. Not cheekbones. It's called the hollows of your cheeks. Although it doesn't give like a huge definition, it gives a really nice definition. So I do love it for that sake. If you were trying to use each colour individually or something, I don't think it would work as well. Which is what I tried. I tried using the darkest colour, I think it's this one. I tried using that on its own first, but it never worked as well. So I just like, if you see the middle here, you can see the dent-ish it's kind of got there now. 
which is why because I just whirl it completely together so that's the best way to go with this I think personally that's just what I think I don't know what anyone else may think but um the pigmentation when you mix it all together then it's brilliant and it gives a really nice golden glow to your skin in summer I wore this quite a lot to be honest I mean you can still wear it in winter if you really wanted to but like I just, I don't know, I just, I just wear blush in winter usually anyway, so, um, and sometimes I just don't wear anything on my face, I don't wear any blush or any bronzer, because I just get lazy like that, um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say, I mean, I love, I love both of these products a lot, I haven't used both of them for a while though, obviously, because it's not something screaming to me saying, oh my god, I love you kind of thing, it's not something like that, I don't love them, so, if I, if they were screaming to me that I'm awesome, kind of thing then I'd probably pick them up every single day like I said with that sleep blush I pick it up every single day pretty much um, so yeah I mean they're great products but I don't know if anyone would, would want to buy them I personally won't be buying them again I don't think and with the blush I probably won't be buying it in this shade I'll probably try a darker shade so that is my honest opinion on these I mean I, I do love them as well still well I don't, okay I don't love them I do like them though still so I mean, I'm going to keep using them. Probably I need to use them for longer. I need to experiment a bit more with them. I just don't really know what it is. But, I mean, they're nice products. So, I do recommend kind of like trying out ALF products. Because people are saying ALF is really good. So, I don't know if it's just the way I use the products. Or if it's just me. I don't really know. I just want to try more ALF products. Because ALF products are supposed to be really good. So, yes. That's my opinion on these two products. And, by the way, in case you're wondering about the eyebrows. I have got an eyebrow tutorial coming up too. I don't know if it'll come on before this video or after this video, I'm not sure. Um, yes. If you would like if to see my eyebrow routine, then you can watch that video, obviously. So, links are in the description as always. So, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Toodles! I forgot what I was going to say. Like, you know, to do them, oh. yeah, okay, or see my error YouTube. Uh, blah 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 blah. I get things wrong all the time.